Hello everyone and welcome back to Vix Tarot Guidance. So welcome if you are an older veteran of this channel and welcome also if you are a newbie of this channel who's just discovering it or finding out about it for the first time. So today's pick a card today's video is going to be another mature reading and it's going to be about your person's thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you and towards your connection. So we're going to look into their thoughts, feelings and intentions more deeply with a disclaimer that this there are going to be some mature themes and mature content covered here as well. I've also made new little cards here so I'm really looking forward to using these at the end of our channel to see what your person wants to say, what's on their mind, what their intentions are towards you, all right? So as you can see, we already have three piles over here. I have pre-picked some cards from the decks just for the general mood, general, you know, direction where your person is currently emotionally, and, you know, then we're also going to be getting into some tarot to get more clarity and understanding about where they're at and what they're thinking and feeling about you and about your connection. And also, you know, where they want to take this in the future. So for pile number one, we have this beautiful amethyst crystal. For pile number two, we have the hematite crystal. I really like using this one in our readings. It's one of my favorite crystals. And pile number three is this green aventurine crystal. I also really adore this one. I mean, I do adore all of these crystals, all the crystals that I have, I adore, but you now these are my favorites. So this is quite a special reading with all of my favorite crystals here being present and the rose quartz being present on me here. Anyway, these are the three piles that you have. You can pause the video right now to just give yourself a bit more time if you feel like you need a little more time to pick your pile. And yeah, I would just invite you, you know, to have a little bit of a meditation, to take a few deep breaths, feel into your person, feel into their energy, their way of being, and just then feel towards which pile you're guided to the very most. You can be guided to a specific pile, you can maybe be guided towards a crystal, or you can also choose based on the numbers in the timestamps, which are in the description box below and also in the pinned comment section of this reading. Other than that, if you're maybe interested in a personal reading, I currently also offer those in the beginning of November now. So November 2021, I'm going to start another batch of personal tarot readings. So if you guys are interested, make sure to book them in advance. And yeah, that's it. You can also pause the video right now if you feel like you need a little bit more time and I'll see you guys in your chosen piles. Hello, my beautiful pile number one, or if you have picked this gorgeous amethyst crystal, this is going to be your reading for what are your person's current thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you and towards your connection. I would like to again put out a disclaimer that this is a mature reading, so if you are not 18 or lower, this is not a reading for you guys, alright? So, let's see what we have here. So we have the spiritual guide frequency coming through for you guys. We also have the selves frequency coming through for you guys. We have also the diversity card coming through for you guys or the diversity frequency. I'm already feeling like your person is trying to 
multitask in a way, like trying out different things, trying out different approaches to this. We also have the crow coming through for you guys. Well, this is also number 13, which comes down to four. So the emperor card, you know, building structure, building a strong foundation here. And we also have the keyword of dreams. We have, I'll just put this over here a little bit, that Ganesh guards your crystal. So we have dreams coming through, we have freedom coming through for you guys. We also have containment coming through for you guys. And we have soul coming through for you guys, okay? So, yeah, I'm feeling like your person is trying to really reconnect with themselves, with the spiritual guide being here and with the soul being here. They're trying to reconnect with themselves. I'm hearing like they want to begin to trust themselves again, trust their intuition again, trust, um, you know, the whole ness of themselves again. They might have been very split in their mind about you before and they are now trying to find i'm hearing closure containment in that uh, understanding in that as well with the crow being here you know they're trying to find truth like the one the the right truth the truth that is their authentic self speaking to them here and they are trying you know different approaches they're trying to understand themselves from different views they're also i'm feeling like they're opening themselves up to new uh, opportunities to new ways of experiencing the world um they're trying to tap into freedom here you know that feeling of freedom and they're finding that by trying to you know diversify their life by trying to tap into different uh, ideas, different meaning makings of your situation, different understandings, you know, of this situation. So they're not just following a fixed path, you know, fixed path of their own understanding in regards to you and your connection and how they feel towards it, but they are trying to really tap into different sense makings, different understandings of this situation, specifically also focusing on the ultimate divine spiritual and soulful connection. So the connection that comes from their higher self here with the crow being here, they are especially focused on that because you know, the crow is the bringer of truth. The crow is also the bringer of um, basically the guide, the follow, the one that allows you to come into your truth and to come into an understanding of what your truth is in shamanic journey. So the crow is that guide, you know, that guidance that fall, that allows you to follow them in order to bring you towards your own individual truth, towards what is true for you personally and to accept that and to... Um, integrate that into your life, you know, mold your life in a way that allows you to express that truth to others. And I'm feeling like with the 13 being the crow that they are starting to build that up. They're, they're starting to build that truth. They're starting to build a foundation of sorts for themselves and, you know, for the understanding of this connection, trying to really tap into this connection, trying to understand it from a more higher level as well with the soul and the spiritual guide being here. I'm also feeling like your person is being very guided or also that you are being very guided at this time. You might also be having strong dreams about your person or your person might be having like really strong dreams about you as well at the time which is also allowing them to tap into the soul aspect and to um, allowing them to you know think about this in different ways that's also something that is then you know allowing them to integrate different parts of themselves just thinking outside the box it feels like your person is really stepping outside the box here and trying to really keep an open 
mind in regards to your connection to your situation and to you specifically and they are trying to really feel into this from a higher perspective they're trying to really understand their own truth and the truth of the great soul i'm hearing from spirit so the the soul of source the soul of spirit you know the great scheme of things they're really trying to tap into that as well and come to an understanding of that in your connection they might have also you know taken a step back from your connection at the time because we have spiritual guide here as well so they might be really trying to tap into themselves now so they had to you know take a step back from your connection because of this to allow themselves to really dive deep within themselves here to dive deep into their own understanding of who they are and where they're going and what they want in life so they had to you know take a step back from the world almost like a hermit energy a little bit but not as intensely hermit like you know it's just a little bit of a stepping back a need to reflect on this connection here okay so spirit what else can you tell us about pile number one here and their person what are their thoughts feelings and intentions about them what are their thoughts feelings and intentions here spirit What are their thoughts, feelings, and intentions? Okay. So we have the moon card. They are quite unsure about this. They don't know where to go fully. They are um, a bit lost in the woods, lost in the dark. We also have the full here. So they feel like they are not ready to take that next step yet they are not ready to take the leap you know take that jump off the cliff they want that reflection still they want to process this uh, we also have here the father of swords and the daughter of pentacles both coming up reversed and this is telling me that yes they need still need that time to reflect here um, they need that time to come to an understanding, to tr structure their thoughts, to come to some type of a meaning making of your situation and of your connection. They feel like, you know, they have been lost for so long and now they're finding something that they have never been in contact with and this has thrown them off a little bit this has made them question reality question themselves who they are how they connect to others in relationships as well so they need time to really process this really come to an understanding of this connection who they want to be and what that means also for you personally and for themselves you know how they maybe have to restructure their lives in order for you to, to be together or to just, you know, make sense of this situation, make sense of this um, relationship, this connection. Okay, so they need time to process this. They need time to come to a logical understanding of this. You know, their masculine side, their masculine mind, their masculine energy is not able to really come to terms with this because this is not a logical connection as much so they are a little bit lost in the woods here with the moon card they don't know where exactly to turn because this is so very new to them and they also don't want to just rush into this they want to be structured they want to be prepared they want to know where they are going with this relationship also with the daughter of pentacles this is the page of pentacles coming up in reverse here you know they are taking it very slowly here this is just considering this situation considering it thinking about it also with the father of swords here this is by the way a very mature way of handling it a mature way of thinking about this connection as well so they are not being wishy-washy they want to do a good and thorough job at understanding your connection here with the father of swords showing up in our reading as well but they are not ready to you know 
take a leap or take any type of chance yet in the physical dimension. You know, the pentacles cover the physical dimension and the material dimension of the world. So this is to me saying that they are not yet ready to take up that new energy. They're still in the process of trying to understand and come to terms with this new energy. This new energy is still something that's very unknown to them and they don't want to you know, risk it. They don't want to risk just doing something and jumping in without you know giving it a proper thinking over without giving it a proper reflection and coming to a true understanding of what is the right thing to do in your situation here so your person is taking some time to you know really understand themselves to come to an understanding of where they stand, what they want. And this is a very mature way of dealing with your situation as well. I am sensing that it might be making you a little bit frustrated because they are slow moving. And yeah, they they just need that, you know, they need that um, time to really process these things. This is something that is not easy for them. And they really want to do, you know, a good job at understanding this, at knowing where they stand and how they want to progress this with you, how they want to move this forward with you guys. All right. So spirit, what else can you tell us about their thoughts, feelings, and intentions? What can you tell us about their thoughts, feelings, and intentions? Right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this means that they see a beautiful possibility, a beautiful and abundant life for you together. They do want to progress this relationship, I'm sensing, but it feels like they need a little bit more time. I'm seeing like the Hermit card in my mind's eye right now for you guys. And it feels like they want a little bit more time to just be able to consider this, to be able to think about what this whole relationship means for you guys. And to then, you know, when they are sure to progress it majorly, I'm hearing from spirit. They see a beautiful connection with you. They are not willing to let this go as well here they are willing to progress it they're willing to work for this relationship you know they have not forgotten about you they have not let you go either they are saying here they do think about you they daydream about you all the time i'm hearing by spirit they also think about you and introspect a lot about you with the mother of swords here coming up so they think about you often I'm hearing from spirit they think about you all the time you're always on their mind and if you're not on their mind you're in their um energy field you're connected with them always it feels as though they cannot get rid of you even if they would wish to you know they couldn't run away from you they couldn't run away from this connection because it's a soul connection nonetheless you know it's an important connection it's also something that's ha that might sometimes haunt their dreams if they are wanting to resist it or wanting to run away from it all right spirit so what else can you tell us about this connection what else what else can you tell us yeah they're saying you're very strongly on their mind you're always on their mind. They can't stop thinking about you. You're always in their energy field as well. They are able to sense into this pentacle energy. They're able to sense into this beauty, the life that you can have together. It just feels like they have to um, fix up their life, lives a little bit here before they're able to let you in there. They have to deal with this, with these illusions maybe, with these um, unknown circumstances currently in their lives as well. So spirit, what else can you tell us? Yeah, we have the nine of cups coming through. This to me is saying on talking about, you know, a very strong spiritual connection, a strong spiritual relationship. This is not just something that's physical, but also a relationship that's taking place on a higher frequency, on a higher spiritual level. So you two might be soulmates or twin flames even. Um, that's not going to resonate for all of you here watching this video, of course, but this is a strong indication that this is a twin flame relationship or a soulmate relationship because this relationship is taking place also 
um, on a higher spiritual level. So your higher selves are also often in contact with each other. They are communicating on a daily basis. They are communicating while you two sleep, you know, in the astral realms, your, soul may, your uh, souls connect and they communicate with each other. They connect to each other. They talk about what was going on in your lives. Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, their thoughts and feelings about you are very loving. Your person really adores you. They think the world of you. They might even put have put you on a pedestal. They really like the feminine aspect of you. So your gentleness, your feminine uh, energy, even if you are a man, you know, and asking about someone, they love your femininity. They love your gentleness, your gentle nature, your caring nature here as well. So what else, Spirit? What else can you tell us about pile number one's person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions? What can you tell us? What are they thinking about? What are they thinking about? Okay, so we have the tower moment coming through for you guys. So your person might be quite a little bit jealous. They might think about you with other people. They might be um, very worried about the fact that someone else might scoop you up before they are ready to commit and they are ready to take this leap and take this chance here. They are, I feel like this is also um, quite an anxious, thought or an anxious pattern of theirs you know they are really um troubled about the fact that they are not going to step up soon enough and that someone else is going to swoop in and take you and you know marry you and have you and that's something that's bringing a lot of troublesome thoughts there they have a lot of sleepless nights here i'm sensing as well because they feel like they are the one for you and they don't want anyone else touching you or being with you they want to be the one who is your man or the one who is your woman and they feel also very jealous if you know they see you in contact with a man or a woman and they you know feel like they are losing you they feel like they are losing this chance and yet, you know, spirit is keeping them contained within their own soul. They do have to still grow themselves. And spirit's not yet allowing them to come towards you or come into this new sphere, this new way that's of being that they would be able to take that leap and start a relationship with you. Yet this is really, you know, bothering them because they are on one side not willing to take the leap here with the full reverse. And at the same time, they're really thinking deeply and maturely about this relationship. They are really, you know, processing a lot of things currently and this just seeing you maybe with someone else or just the thought of maybe you know not being quick enough or just taking too much time is something that's really weighing on them your person's also you know very anxious about someone else having sex with you someone else making love to you because they feel like they should be the only one that they are soulfully the only one who is um, the right one for you, someone who should make love to you, you know. Okay, what else, spirit? What else do you want to share in regards to pile number one person? What are their thoughts and feelings? What are their thoughts, feelings, and intentions? <laughs> yeah, we have the king of cups. So a person wants to be your king of cups they want to be the gentle persona of your life they want to take care of you they want to love you i'm just hearing sugar daddy in my mind as well so for some of you your person really wants to love you protect you be your sugar sugar daddy give you everything that you want or need or require you know they want to shower you with gifts as well that might be one of their love languages as well and yet they're still showing up as the king of 
cups here you know they do have a lot of deep love for you but this love is not necessarily shown as much on the outside world you know they are very much thinking about this connection they are considering stepping up and yet they don't feel like they are yet too ready to step up they feel like they have to process their emotions a little bit more come to an understanding and to you know the truth of the matter before they are able to love you and protect you and be everything that you would need or want or desire in this lifetime yes they are you know very emotionally connected to you it feels like there's this ocean of depth to them to their emotions here there is so much depth to them and so much they're so deep and so loving and yet you know they can't bring themselves to express this love to you just yet they might sometimes even appear cold but this is only because they are you know worried and they are troubled and they don't want to or they are not yet ready to reveal these emotions because they don't yet have a full grasp of them they don't have a full understanding of their emotions yet here all right spirits so what else do you want to share with us in regards to their thoughts feelings and intentions for pile number one so these are my new little messages sexual messages heart-based sexual messages basically so what does pile number one's person want to tell pile number one they're saying i feel like a child again they feel like they are entering an infinite loop of you know new things to encounter they feel like they're encountering wonder again and they feel like they are experiencing life for the new time this relationship feels like it's opened them up to something new to a new state of experiencing the world they might have even experienced a death and a rebirth situation where they are having to rebuild their life now in order to it that it corresponds to the truth of the matter to the truth of who they are to the truth of themselves here and they feel like a child again they feel like they need guidance as well they feel like they need someone to help them understand and make sense of the world you know like a child when they are first encountering the world and they have so many questions so many wishes so many you know unknown things to learn about the world that's how your person feels at the time they feel like they are finding about the world and this these new aspects about the world for the first time and they have so much confusion still going on about them so many questions so many decisions to make here as well it might be that you're also dealing with a water sign here as well so i forgot to mention this before you might be dealing with either a pisces um with a cancer or with a scorpio person here with the king of cups and with the cup energies showing up you of course don't have to be but that's the energy that i'm picking up here and also i feel like a child again this is giving me strong pisces energy as well you know that intuitive big eyes looking at the world trying to understand the world and just being in this wonder being in this new energy coming in contact with new energy as well we also have here romantic gestures coming up for you guys so your person is very much a romantic they're thinking about this relationship in really romantic terms as well your person might be writing poetry about you as well they might be writing short stories about you or making some type of art expressing themselves through music maybe as well here so let's see what else spirit what else do you want to show us or talk about in regards to pile number one's person what are they currently going through what are their thoughts feelings and intentions we have you surprise me so you surprise your person they're not used to um people interacting with them in such a way they're not used to this type of energy coming 
through when they are with someone else so you surprise them you bring something new to the table you really um shake up their world in the best possible way here so what else spirit we also have here come on face coming through so a person really would maybe want to be covered with you covered with your scent covered with your bodily liquids um they want to pleasure you i'm sensing from this come on you come on face card you know they want to make you feel good here with the king of cups as well you know they they are all over that they are all wa about wanting you here on the bottom of the deck as well i want you you know they want to come on you and they want to smell you they want to be in contact with you you know in the most primordial way of being with you it's what they want it's what they desire they really want to bring you to um an orgasm you know they want to make you feel good because you feeling good is also something that would help them feel good as well here so what else maybe one more card spirit what else for pile number one's person what else is going on with them i want to feel your body so they want to reconnect with you they want to connect with you physically they really want to be with you they want to be able to feel into you feel into your energy feel into your body very much here with the i want to feel your body i also just heard i want to feel you baby so they just basically want to feel you it feels as though they are quite sick of just feeling you through the dreams feeling you through the astral realms feeling you through this higher self soul dimension they want to start feeling you also in the physical dimension here yet they also feel like they are a bit loose on their feet they are not yet as strong on their feet here they do feel like they need to put some things in order first yet your person is quite um set in their way to be with you you know they have to just come to some type of a structure of their lives they have to almost put their life back together again and put a bit of a structure on it put a bit of an emperor energy into it to structure it to contain it here and then they're going to i feel come towards you because your person does feel like they want you you amaze them you surprise them they want to be a romantic with you they want to feel into that romantic energy with you and allow themselves to express themselves romantically with you here you know they want to feel your body they want to feel your energy as well they want to pleasure you as well here you know they want to do all of those things with you here and they have so much love for you as well with the nine of cups here and with the ten of pentacles in reverse so they are feeling into this energy they are in contact with this energy of abundance of having the life a prosperous life maybe also a marriage they are maybe considering that along the line maybe children as well for some of you here okay so my darlings that's all i have for you right now for your reading for what are their thoughts feelings and intentions about you so i hope this reading resonated do let me know how it was for you in this comment section down below also don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more similar pick a card readings coming your way in the future also if you'd maybe like a personal reading all the information about that is also in the description box below this video so i have my website also listed down in the description box below this video so make sure to check that out i have all my prices and all the information over there so make sure to check that out if you are interested and other than that i want to thank you for sharing your energy with me throughout this reading and i do hope to see you again in another one of my videos have a good day bye bye Mwah. hello my loves hello my pile number two so if you picked this beautiful hematite crystal this is going to be your reading 
for what does your person think and feel towards you and what are their intentions towards you. So let's first look at these cards that we have here. So we have speak from the heart frequency. We also have here the alignment frequency. We also have sacred geometry frequency. All right, so here we have then the upper world coming through for you guys. And we also have a few keywords here and these are false self. Let's put this over here. So we have the false self coming through. We have uncertain. We also have ask your guides. And we have commit to X coming through. All right, so your person is, I'm feeling, beginning to understand that they have to start to speak from the heart and start to be in alignment with themselves when it comes to this connection and when it comes to you specifically. We also have, you know, the upper world here. So there is um, this understanding that they're coming into, that they have to start to connect with their guides, that they have to start to connect with the higher realms here. Also with the sacred geometry and with the ask your guides, this is a similar question, you know, over here in this little section of the reading. So they're coming into an understanding of the higher realms of angels, of, you know, beings that are resident are existing in the upper world or the upper dimensions um, and they're beginning to connect with them I'm sensing here which is also then allowing them to come into more alignment with themselves here and it's allowing them to reconnect with their heart more reconnect with their heart center and speak from the heart speak from that energy of the heart and allow the heart to be open here allowing them to also to release the false self here that they might have been holding on to so your person might have been you know manipulative in the past they might have also been wearing a mask in the past they might have not been truthful with you in the past or they might have been maybe wishy-washy or you know just not um very grounded in who they are in the past when you two were in contact with each other but I'm feeling into that changing for them they are learning to commit to their lives here they're learning to commit to their growth here they're also learning to commit to relationships here you know but it almost feels like it's an energy of the addict coming out of the hospital or something like that you know almost an addict coming out of rehab here you know it feels like this self that they have had the self that you get to know them as was that almost like a mechanism of trying to cope with the world yeah that's what it was that's what i'm feeling into you know so their false self was a mechanism of trying to cope with the world, of trying to cope with their trauma, trying to cope with what life has thrown in their direction, uh, maybe in childhood, maybe it's also, you know, um, past life situation here for some of you. But they are right now learning to come into new types of energies. They're learning to come into more gentle energies more connected energies uh energies that are lighter in frequency you know energies that are not so um focused around the feelings of shame of feelings of fear feelings of anxiety worry and such but more like feelings of being able to feel into joy feelings of being able to feel into peace feel into enlightenment feel into love feel into feeling 
of the other person, you know, feeling into the other and allowing also to keep their heart open, allowing the other people to feel into them as well and not be triggered by that. So your person is, I'm feeling like undergoing a really strong um, growth here, you know, it might feel also like their life is a little bit uncertain because of this, because they're entering into a completely new sphere of being here, a completely new way of existing and trying to understand the world here, you know. Also, these situations that they might have been in in the past, they might have really opened them up to, um, you know, being able to experience the world in a completely different way, maybe being able to feel into angelic energies and things like that. And they are, you know, right now coming into contact with that, rediscovering these aspects of themselves and trying to, um, almost like trying to ride the waves here. Yeah, that's what I'm getting into the energy of riding the waves of one's evolvement, one's a spiritual and awakening, one's spiritual alignment here and at the same time, you know, learning how to commit to life, learning how to commit to the people in their lives here. This is also like a message for you. So if you are maybe unsure about this relationship or if you have any very specific questions, there's also this message for you to ask your guides for help. Your guides are always with you and they just need permission from you because you have free will. You do have to allow your guides to give you messages, allow your guides to step in and take you on a ride of your life, you know, give you answers, give you um, a better understanding of where your path is at and where your path is leading you towards. But yeah, what I'm sensing into here is your person is very... Um, beginning to be very joyful about the world. They are looking at the world with new eyes here. They're looking at the world with a changed energy here. So their um, past patterns of behavior are being reorganized here. They're learning to commit to relationships, commit to people more. They're learning to be more authentic, learning to speak more from their truth, learning to speak more from how they really feel in regards to things, okay? So let's see what else is coming up for you guys. So for pile number two spirit, what are their thoughts, feelings, and intentions? I'm sensing that their intention is to reconnect with you. They would really like to reconnect with you and connect with you again. We have the Mother of Cups here coming up in reverse. So your person does feel a very intuitive connection with you. They feel very connected and, you know, they feel so much love for you here with the Mother of Cups. Yet it, it, it is in reverse. So this is making me feel like they feel like you would not want them back. They feel like you would maybe judge them. They feel like you wouldn't... Um, want them back based on what they might have done to you, what they might have said to you in the past. Um, they feel like, you know, almost like they really screwed up, I'm sensing from spirit, they, like they really fucked up this relationship or whatever it is that they did here, yet they feel an incredible amount of love for you still. They feel very intuitively connected with you as well and more so every day, especially with the tapping into these upper realms here. Your person does uh, connect strongly with you in the astral dimension as well here in the intuitive psychic dimension as well. And your person does have strong ability to be a psychic or some type of a spiritual leader because they have really been through a lot in their lives here yet they're feeling like they can't really face you there is this blockage of you know thinking of you rejecting them or you not wanting them back here with the mother of cups just this feeling of you know you not wanting them and that might really hurt them so they are stepping back they are trying to balance their lives out currently just see where that goes but they feel like they really want to reconnect with you it almost feels like you know wanting to meet an old friend after a long separation here and they really want to, to 
connect with your energy connect with your spirit as well just to see your face just to be able to also hug you as well it's like that heart opening energy that i'm sensing into when you see someone after a long time of separation what else spirit what else can you tell us so we also have the three of cups coming through so your person does want to reconnect with you as friends they want to connect with you they want to talk to you they want to maybe go out for drinks with you and just connect and just tell you about what they have gone through just tell you what they have been through um they want to just be you know in this friendship with you they want to feel the joy of reconnecting with you again here as well they just want to talk to you they just want to connect with you again as an old friend as someone who has been there for them before and someone who does deserve um them to tell them about you know their lives what they have gone through and to just be more truthful to just be more joyful as well like that feeling of you know reconnecting again and being with each other again and just being there as friends telling each other about what's been going on what they have been through and also you know bringing reconciliation here i'm sensing with this card there's just so much reconciliation almost of wounds being healed here of blockages being cleared as well that's their intention that's where they're at currently they're also thinking about this relationship a lot and yet not willing to really make any sudden moves or make any moves just yet they are you know processing it processing the right way to go through it processing the right way to deal with this situation to deal with this relationship here this does feel like it's an ex or a friend or some kind because something has gone wrong here and they feel like they really messed something up here and now they are willing, wanting to make amends in a way. They want to bring clarity, they want to heal wounds, they want to bring understanding and to just have a clean slate in your relationship it's what i'm sensing into they really want something to clear up in your relationship right now if they have you know not been honest before they want to bring you that honesty now they want to be really true to you they want you to have their complete truth their truth from the heart they don't want to play games anymore if they have maybe played games before with you or if they have given you that type of energy right now they really want to step up truthfully and come towards you from the heart from peace from love from this perspective of just you know loving you and being and feeling into you feeling into your energy, feeling into your personality, just, you know, taking all of this up very responsibly and dealing with it in a responsible manner. Yeah, so we have the Eight of Swords reverse. So it feels like they are still undergoing some type of metamorphosis currently they are going through this butterfly transformation so they feel like they are still wrapped up a little bit in their cocoon and this cocoon is basically the thoughts the patterns that they have not yet currently healed or cleared um in regards to your connection they feel like they are still holding on to some blockages here these might be the blockages that are not allowing them to step up as fully and as completely as they would want to step up towards you they do want to really heal this connection though they want victory they want peace they want understanding there to be between you guys and they want um you know love and peace they want a peaceful reconciliation peaceful reconnection with you guys here you know they want there to be clear airs clear paths so that you two can move forward however it is that you two guys want to move forward in your lives so what else yeah they are trying to find balance in their lives here with the two of pentacles they're trying to find a balanced lifestyle again they're trying to find this balance within and alignment within their own 
body within their own soul again here with the butterfly they're also trying to you know balance their daily life their day-to-day -day life in regards to you guys in regards to how they feel towards you they're trying to balance what their heart is telling them what their mind is telling them and they're trying to go out or come through this awakening period with the judgment here on the bottom of the deck they're trying to let go and come to an understanding of this loss that they have been through as well and yeah you know these um patterns of addiction maybe also with the devil here so we have all of these cards here on the bottom of the deck so we have the judgment the five of pentacles and the devil here so they're come trying to balance this they're trying to come out of these patterns of addiction maybe these were addictive thoughts maybe or something of that nature maybe even proper addictions that you guys have dealt with in your relationship and they're trying to resolve this they're trying to rise above this they're trying to you know move through it here with the six of swords you know they're trying to find the rainbow they're trying to find the joy again they're trying to find peace again here and they're trying to you know move it up move this into a structural way of being a structural way of living their lives here with the eight of pentacles as well on the bottom of the deck here so they're trying really hard to i'm hearing um move up in the dimension of vibration so they're trying to really move up from uh, you know feelings of shame of guilt of not being good enough towards energies of love reason and understanding and connection also courage to speak their minds courage to speak from the heart courage to you know be able to be loving and accepting of other people here as well and to really just allow themselves to be who they are and also allow other people to be who they are here um yeah what else spirit what else is going on for pile number two here and their person here what else can you tell us what else is going on for pile number two here for some of you they might have also been dealing with financial troubles with the five of pentacles here they might have really been dealing and going through a lot in the past months which has also maybe made them step back or step away from your relationship which you felt as them leaving but they also would like you to note that they have not you know left because of you that you are not to blame it's just that they have had to deal with something in their own lives they have had to tie up loose ends i'm hearing from spirit and now they are willing to reconnect with you they're willing to be in alignment with their own selves with their own integrity and you know to give you the truth that you deserve to give you the understanding that you deserve if you are maybe you know left in the dark in regards to this relationship as well in the past So we have the six of wands here coming through for you guys so they want victory they want understanding they want to reconnect with you here as well you know they want a proper conversation with you guys they want a proper understanding to be there between you two they want to tell you how they really feel they want to express how they feel towards you and that they still want you that they still love you that they still burn for you here with this card and with him touching her so you know your person does have a lot of passion for you still your person would still also want to be together with you if you would of course want them back it's what they're struggling with here as well with the mother of cups that you would maybe not want them back that you would reject them which would be like a strong blow to their ego as well here but they want you they love you they find you incredibly attractive incredibly desirable as well with the six of wands coming through and with the empress also here on the bottom of the deck you know they find you to be everything they want they find you to be a 
manifestation of supreme beauty and supreme um supremely attractive here as well you know they really want to connect with you again they want to feel your body feel your skin as well here you know they really missed you i'm sensing if you two have had a separation period your person feels like they have missed you so much and they are really looking forward to reconnecting with you and yet they feel like um like this is not this might you know not be right in a sense for you guys you might reject them or you might still be angry with them in some way yet they're still you know um they are in this almost like a limbo of hope with the star card coming through yet this is not either in reversed or in the upright position this feels like it's in limbo it's um you know coming up like this it feels like they do not know if they should keep on hoping if they shouldn't hope at all for this connection to be something more in the future for them they feel like they really look up to you they really consider you so beautiful so supreme so you know perfect a perfect incarnation of a human being on this earth and they do feel like they are a bit unworthy of you like they are a bit um like not good enough for you guys yet they really do connect with you a lot on a physical level here as well they really want to make love to you as well they really want to reconnect with you like i'm feeling especially into this energy of hugging an old friend you know after a long period of not seeing each other and just your heart opening and swelling with joy when you are in contact with each other when you are hugging each other and having this reconnection having this reconciliation and that's the energy that they want they want to reconnect with you and they want to you know feel into you again they want this friendship to be rekindled between you two we also have here the eight of pentacles and there is this guy offering the little girl a flower or a rose so this is the type of energy that they are they want to offer a reconciliation they want to offer a new beginning they want something new they want to build something new with you here they're in the type of energy that they want to make amends that they want to explain to you why they have acted the way they have acted the that they have treated you the way they have treated you they want to make amends they want to there to be a type of an atonement here you know and they want to make themselves clear in regards to how they have been thinking how they have been feeling towards you all right so let's look at some of these new messages now the heart-based uh, sexual messages from your person so spirit for pile number two what do you want to tell us what do you want to tell us for pile number two spirit pile number two spirit what do they want to tell them what are their thoughts, feelings, and intentions here? Okay, so we have lap dance coming through. So your person might want to just have fun. They want might want to loosen um, the tension a little bit with some jokes here. They might also suggest a lap dance that you do them a lap dance or that you they do a lap dance for you so that you know. Mm, they make amends in some way to you this is this does feel more like a joke you know that feeling of wanting to relieve tension of wanting to you know come off as um non-imposing or non-intimidating they want there to be like this joyfulness between you two this joyful sharing of jokes as well here between you guys this feels like a very playful energy as well here but yeah they might suggest something a bit with a sexual innuendo when you two meet again or when you two are in contact again just to test the waters of how much they can still hope for in regards to this relationship we also have here slowed to perfection and yeah like your person is hoping for this to be something more they also are recognizing that this relationship was put on hold a little bit so you two can grow and especially for them to be able to develop into something more to be able to develop into something that you might deserve in the future 
and they feel like this has been a really slow journey for them. It might have also been a very slow and, you know, terrible journey in that direction for you as well because it has taken so much time for both of you and for, you know, from your lives here as well. So it might have been very much filled with blockages, filled with um, this inability to move forward even, but it feels like it was slow to perfection in order for spirit to be able to properly intervene, to properly bring both of you into alignment here as well and for allow them to let go of this false self and to learn how to speak from the heart here as well. So spirit, what else can you tell us? Maybe one or two more cards. Your person is also saying that they have recognized the perfection that they have within. It's interesting that when I wrote this card, this one's the only one that I screwed up and I wrote purification, see purification. So your person might be also coming to terms with their own imperfection. They might be starting to understand that perfection, that imperfection is actually perfect. You know, they're starting to see their imperfections as gifts as um you know gifts from spirit gifts that allow them to grow to develop into someone more someone greater someone more caring someone more loving here as well all right so what else we also have here teasing so a person might want to tease you um they want they might want to be very playful with you once they are able to reconnect with you they're in a very teasing, playful energy in that energy of the three of wands, in that energy of joy, energy of celebration here. I we also have here, I want you in my life. So they're saying, I want you in my life. I want to reconnect with you again. I think that you are an important part of my life and I want you back. I want you in it. I want to spend this life with you. We also have here, be mine. So they're asking, would you like to be theirs? Would you like to reconnect with them? Is this relationship still worth having in your book as well? And that's it from me for your reading, my beautiful pile number two. I hope this reading resonated. Do let me know how it was for you in the comment section down below this video. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more similar pick a card videos coming your way in the future. Also, if you would maybe like a personal reading, I also offer those and all the information about that is in the description box below this video. I have all my prices and everything also listed on my website. So make sure to check that out and then message me, send me an email if you would maybe be interested in a personal reading. So other than that, I just want to thank you for sharing your energy with me throughout this reading. I hope it resonated for you guys. I hope it brought you some clarity and understanding of where your person is at currently emotionally. And I do hope to see you around in the next Pick a Card video. Have a good day, you guys. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome my beautiful pile number three. So if you have picked this green adventuring crystal, this is going to be your reading for what are your person's current thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you. So let's first start with these cards that we have over here. So we have the card or the frequency tarot of truth. So this is talking about objective truth, really trying to feel into the truth of the matter. We also have potential, so the frequency of potential coming up for you guys. And we have the frequency of integration. We also have here the witness coming through. And... We have the keywords of the pendulum swing. We also have divine masculine energy. 
we have desire and we have the keyword of decision making for you guys okay so right off the bat with the truth and the witness here with these two cards also oh, wow look 63 64 um what with these two cards what i'm sensing into is your person is trying to tap into the truth of the matter the truth of your connection the truth of what they are really feeling the truth of the truth of the truth you know they're trying to be very observant they're trying to be non-attached to their own sense of what they think should be what they think is right what you know other people might be telling them about this connection and about you so they're trying to keep almost like a bird's eye view they're trying to be very detached they're trying to be very much in the energy of non-attachment to everything that is going on about this connection so they're stepping in that energy of the witness the energy of the observer here you know just watching what comes up this is almost like a practice of um awareness here with the witness coming through it's a practice of just watching your emotions come up and not really responding to them but just being aware of them lovingly here it's a practice of mindfulness it's a practice of meditation that your person is after here and this is the type of energy that they are in it's a, it is an energy that is very peaceful in a way it's an energy that is not um dealing with these energies that are coming up for them it's just an energy of observing letting things come and letting things go and this is allowing your person to reach new heights new understandings of himself or herself they are becoming more integrated with this practice with just being aware of where they are at emotionally just being aware of what they are feeling it might also be that your person has in the past had strong pendulum swings you know they have might have gone through uh, one extreme to the other extreme and so on but they are trying to you know balance this out i'm sensing into the energy of temperance here you know balancing this out balancing out the energy and trying to really understand this energy you know with the divine masculine keyword over here you know with the divine masculine energy they're trying to understand themselves they're trying to understand your relationship more deeply while at the same time you know not allowing themselves to fall into the depths of this the depths of everything the depths of feelings you know they are trying to remain above water they're trying to remain with their head above water just swimming i'm hearing dory right now just keep swimming 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 so that might be the energy that your person is in right now you know they just want to keep on swimming they just want to stay in this loving awareness energy of their own thoughts it feels as though they are a bit afraid to dive deep into the desire that they are feeling for you so it might be that your person has strong desire for you they might have a strong lust for you as well here and they are trying to really stay above that stay with their head above water not really diving and allowing themselves to feel into this desire as much it might be that they feel like it would be wrong to feel into this desire too much or go after this desire at the current time for some of you this might be a relationship that you know has other circumstances so your person cannot allow themselves to feel into this desire as much currently so they are trying to in a way deal with it by just staying above water just swimming just trying to stay in the objective perspective of truth just trying to also hold all of the perspectives in their mind at once yet they are still focused on some type of decision making here you know they feel still very strongly towards you i'm feeling and they are a bit 
concerned or confused about this because they are being able to handle so many things here with this staying above water, you know, just swimming, swimming, swimming. And they are not, um, they are still, you know, feeling so much desire for you. They are still feeling so very called to you. I'm hearing from spirit, you know, and they are questioning themselves about this. They have a decision to make in regards to you. I'm hearing because they feel very energetically called to you, I feel. And yet that is, you know, tripping them up a little bit because they don't know how to properly deal with this. So in order to deal with this, they're just now trying to just have awareness of it, loving awareness of it. And, you know, stay in this energy of containment, understanding of the situation. It also feels as though you are a strong soul who has brought up some things within your person. You might have really opened them up to new spiritual dimensions. You might have activated their divine masculine, divine feminine energy. You know, they, you might have activated the pole of their energy that was a little bit dormant or a little bit asleep before. And now they're beginning to wake up to that energy. They are beginning to understand that they're beginning to feel into it and they're handling it. I feel like pretty well here with this loving kindness, loving awareness, because they are not running away from it, but they are trying to, you know, keep an open mind. They're trying to keep an open awareness of this situation here yet the desire is still you know tripping them up i'm sensing they are still uncertain about where this is going to go they still don't know currently very much where this is leading them because they feel so connected to you they feel a strong want of you you know they feel very drawn to you sexually emotionally and so on so they feel like they have to make some kind of a decision here. Like they have to decide what they want to do with you, what they want to do with this relationship in the future. And this is where they are currently at, you know, emotionally and also in their mind. This is what they're asking themselves currently in regards to you and regards to your connection. All right, so let's see what the cards have to say. For you guys for pile number three spirits so what do the cards have to say what is their person currently thinking and feeling what are their intentions as well here so we have the two of wands coming through for you guys so this might be a really strong twin flame connection for some of you it also feels like you two are coming closer and closer together that you two are you know, through your integration journey and through your healing journey, becoming closer together here. We also have judgment here. So your person might have undergone a strong awakening period in their lives. And this is, you know, visible here with the truth and with the witness card. Your person is undergoing an awakening here. They are letting go of some patterns, some blockages that they might have been holding on to for many, many years here. And they are learning how to become a better person here, how to deal with themselves, how to understand themselves better as well. We also have here the Eight of Wands coming through. So your person might have um, come to a sudden or strong realization of you two. They might have also come to a strong realization in the past about you two being soulmates or of you two being twin flames. That's not going to resonate for all of you, of course, but... For some of you, your person has come to a strong realization of your relationship and what this relationship is for them, what it also means for, you know, your uh, future here as well. You know, they feel like this relationship is important for them as well as it's important for you. And they feel like they want to progress it in some manner. They feel like they want to grow it. They feel like they want to develop it here as well because they feel a strong connection with you. They want to explore this further. I'm feeling it's just, you know, they feel like they have been through some almost tower-like moments. They feel like they have been really shaken up by you, really awakened by you. Um, I'm feeling like you really shook up their lives here, that they did not expect you to have such a strong 
influence on their life here but they have come to some type of realization here in the past i'm sensing and it has really changed their way and outlook on life and on this relationship all right so spirit what else for pile number three what else can you tell us okay all right so we have the temperance card coming through for you guys so your person feels like yeah they are trying to find the balance here they're trying to find balance in this relationship and in their mind in regards to how they feel towards you in regards to their thoughts towards you in regards to their actions towards you here it might be that they are being tripped up by some societal rules or some you know opinions of society maybe these were also you know some rules that their um parents or someone else has put in their mind you know but they are beginning to come out of this they're beginning to come to an understanding of these things that they might have been blind to before and they are starting to become aware of them they are still sleeping on some of the thoughts, some of the judgments, some of the beliefs, you know, some of the, I want to say programmed patterns. Yeah, that's what I want to say. They're, they're programmed patterns here. They're patterns of behavior that are not allowing them to really have the life that they want, the life that they deserve, the life that they should step into here, spirit is saying. So they're still sleeping on some of the thoughts. They do not want to convey or share some of these thoughts here because they feel like they have not properly integrated or understood them yet here. And they feel like they want to understand them before, um, you know, communicating or before they are able to really open up with the son of swords here. So before they are able to, you know, have that momentum of sharing and communicating with you guys, they do want to come to an understanding of why they are behaving the way they are behaving and they feel like they are still, you know, sleeping on this with the hermit in reverse. They are coming to an understanding of this. It feels still like it's a bit in the unknown, especially with the hermit in reverse here. It feels like it's not entirely clear to them why they are behaving, why they are behaving. And they need a little bit more time, a little bit more clarity here, a little bit more balance to come to a proper understanding of why they feel and why they behave the way they do. What are they feeling and thinking? Okay, so we have the star. This means that your person is like really hopeful. They are very optimistic about this relationship, about it moving forward, about you two having a future together and a loving relationship together. And they are really, you know, thinking the world of you. They consider you a beautiful person. They consider you to be a star for them yet they still like feel very scattered in their minds their minds feels like it's running rampant in many different directions they are not very clear on a course of action yet they still need to have and do some decision making here a decision has to be made in their mind because it's not made clear yet it's just like a lot of different feelings a lot of different potentials a lot of different desires that are popping up for them at the current time here and yet they are not you know properly feeling into any of them they're just you know trying to really stay above the water trying to stay above all of this desire and all of this love that they share, share for you yet they are very optimistic here about the future as well they feel like this is really going to clear because they feel like they have come a long way already in regards to your relationship so they feel like this is really going to clear up for them very nicely we also have here the three of cups coming through for you guys so your person loves your body they want to reconnect with you they daydream about kissing you and you know touching you touching your body making you feel good as well here we also have the ace of pentacles here so they want to reconnect with you they want to 
start something new with you they maybe want to offer you something as well in the future so they might be thinking about offering you something in the future you know maybe um this is going to be an invitation to something maybe an invitation to dinner an invitation to talk an invitation to reconnect and to share your perspectives about what's been going on with you guys we also have the chariot here which is again letting me feel into this energy of wanting to reconnect wanting to explain themselves wanting to also reach forward and to move forward with momentum here so they have that desire they have that wish to move towards you they have that want to move towards you they're very optimistic about this as well it doesn't I don't I'm not really sure why they are not so moving forward yet maybe they feel a bit unsure with this witness so they are maybe using this witness here this observer personality to be able to just stay above the water because they are a bit unsure of themselves because they don't fully I'm hearing from spirit trust themselves yeah yeah that's the problem basically with them that's why they haven't stepped up yet because they don't fully trust themselves they don't really trust their masculine force yet and their desire to be able to be contained with you because i'm hearing you light them up you light them up like a fire like a lightning bolt you know you are such a strong energetic connection with uh, that they feel with you you know there's such a strong energetic current that's going on when you two reconnect so they feel like they have to stay above this water a little bit just to be able to really process it and to be able to remain in a position of being able to you know deal with it being able to stay above the water when you two do reconnect you know because they don't want to hurt you they don't want to hurt you with their strong energy with their strong passion and they do want to be fair to you they want to come towards you in that controlled masculine Force, you know the controlled masculine manner the controlled masculine uh, energy this is of course you know a general reading so that's also for men and women you know in this reading they want to just be in that energy of containing themselves containing their desire not letting their desire to rule over them because they are afraid that they might not be able to control themselves to control their desire here but with the ace of pentacles they want to build something with you they want to reconnect with you they want to share something in the physical dimension with you and we also have here the two of cups coming through so we have the two of uh wands here and the two of cups so this means that this is indeed a very soulmate connection it might be even a twin flame connection for some of you but it is nonetheless you know a very strong soul connection for most of you watching this video this is a very beautiful connection they really want to reconnect with you again here with the two of cups and with the chariot they really are um, feeling into this joy of coming towards you really strongly as well you know they want to kiss you as well they daydream about kissing you they daydream about reconnecting with you they daydream about holding you as well you know being able to feel your heart being able to feel your body being able to you know reconnect with you in a very joyful heart-based manner here so let's see what else is coming through for these a little heart-based sexual messages for you guys so spirit for pile number three so spirit for pile number three what can you tell us about their thoughts feelings desires whoa okay so we have a strong connection coming through this one just flew out of the deck. Did you see that? How it danced around the air for a little while. So we have a really strong connection here. Your person is saying they feel a really strong connection. And if you feel it too, you know you're not just mad or anything. This is not just in your head. This is indeed an incredibly strong connection that you two share here. Okay, let's see what else is coming through. What else is coming through for pile number three spirit what else do you want to share we also have you surprise me here so you do surprise your person you light them up you know as i was talking about before here 
you light them up, you activate them, you do something to them that really lights up their whole body, their whole spirit. Like they feel your energy very strongly when you two are in a room together. You also surprise them with your maybe thoughts, with your ideas. They feel like your ideas are very unique, very special as well. They love to connect with you and to share um, ideas with you as well here. We also have physical contact coming through for you guys. So your person does really want to connect with you. They want to feel your body. We also have one behind. Yeah, I want to take it to the next level. So we had physical contact and this one was hiding behind the physical contact, almost glued on it for us. So yeah, your person wants to take your connection to the next level. If you have not yet been in physical contact with each other, that's the next level that they are after. They want to connect with you. They want to, you know, be physically intimate with you. They want to fuck you. They want to love you. They want to kiss you. They want to bring toys into your relationship as well. They want to feel your lips on theirs as well. So what else, spirit? I daydream about you all the time. So they daydream about you. They fantasize about you often. They have a strong desire for you. And sometimes they do give in. Um, yeah, with this pendulum swing coming through, that's exactly it. I was, you know, a bit confused about what this meant, but that's it. They sometimes give in to their desire and it's almost like a pendulum swing from one direction to the other, where they are on one side trying to remain impartial and, you know, not in, in, in this feeling of just observing and trying to remain in a feeling of non-attachment, in a perspective on non-attachment, and then they sometimes give into their desire for you and just swing up into the other extreme, you know, just feeling into this desire so very deeply and feeling into you so very deeply here as well. And that sometimes scares them, you know, that what I was talking to you about before, that feeling of such a strong desire sometimes scares them because they feel like they could not control themselves maybe with you, which is the importance of why temperance is here as well. So temperance here as well for us, that they are wanting to find, you know, um, balance here in this connection with you as well. So we have, I daydream about you, so they fantasize about you, they daydream about you, they have so much desire for you. These are mostly, I'm feeling like sexual desires, but they're also, you know, romantic desires, taking you out to dinner, you know, having some good times with you, talking to you and things of that nature. So they're not only sexual, but they are predominantly sexual, especially in the nighttime, your person does tend to let loose and swing that pendulum to the other direction completely, you know, just completely let go in that desire and masturbate to you. So we also have teasing. So your person is thinking about teasing you as well, you know, testing the waters a little bit, testing how far they can go with you, how far you will let them go with you. So they want to do mostly just word teasing at first just to test the waters here, but they would also really enjoy teasing you as well here. We also have full body orgasm, so they want to give you a full body orgasm as well. So they want to feel, I'm hearing from spirit, they want to feel your body shaking as they are pleasuring you. We also have here worship your sexual organs so they want to worship you they want to worship your body they want to worship your sexual organs and we have honeymoon here so your person does have really beautiful loving feelings towards you very loving um connection towards you they want to take this relationship to the next level as we saw they want to reconnect to you physically you also have sexual awakening here on the bottom of the deck for us and chemistry as well as the bottom of the deck and we have sexual tension right after you know sexual awakening and chemistry here for you guys so sexual tension so you guys might be going through some strong sexual tension as well when you are in contact with each other especially you know with this card with the eight of 
ones there might be you know very strong sexual connection between you guys that energy that i was talking to you about before you know that lightning that tension that excitement that feeling of your whole body burning for the other person as well here so yeah <clears throat> so that's all i have for you guys today my beautiful pile number three I do hope this reading resonated. Do let me know how it was for you in the comment section down below. So don't forget to also like this video and subscribe down below for more similar pick a card videos coming your way in the future. Also, if you'd maybe like a personal reading, all the information about that is also in the description box below this video. I have my website also listed down in the description box below and that is where all the prices and everything is listed. So make sure to check that out if you are maybe interested in a personal reading from me sometime in the future. Thank you again for sharing your energy with me throughout this reading. It was truly a pleasure to read this energy for you today and I'm wishing you all the best on your continued light journey and I do hope to see you again in another one of my videos. Take care you guys. Bye-bye.